Welcome to Carydale Elementary School, home of the Cardinals. Where we are soaring to new heights. I'm Shara Thomas, Assistant Principal. And I'm Elise Zafiro, Principal. Welcome to our visible learning journey. So I was embedded in John Hattie's research ever since I was a teacher. Um, I started implementing teacher clarity within my own classroom of learning intentions and success criteria. I was drawn to his research because it was about what was working in classrooms and what we needed to do to continue to move students forward in their student achievement. When I became an administrator, I knew the importance and the impact it would have on students. I continued to embed that in my feedback, in my discussions with teachers, and also professional development. So there were challenges that we faced in implementing visible learning. It seemed like a lot for our teachers at first. It definitely took us to have a change in our mindset. We had to develop those mind frames and actually think about how we're planning um, through the lens of a student and not what we think students should be learning and doing, but what essential knowledge, what essential questions, what learning progressions that they need to go through in order to meet mastery of the curriculum. It really took us going deep into the curriculum and making sure that everyone has a true understanding of what we are to be teaching, how we're going to teach it, and what best practices are we going to use in order to implement and help our kids learn. And we really adopted the train the trainer model. So it was an opportunity for me as a leader on my team to learn and kind of figure out the nuances of visible learning and then take it back to my fourth grade team. So when I'm meeting with grade level teachers, we can all kind of come from our own perspectives and say, you know, the students that I primarily work with really would need this. And the students that I primarily work with would really need this. And that's why all students are able to be successful. So as a team, um, we meet every week, twice a week um, at CLT meetings. And that's where we do the groundwork. We build a foundation. We unpack standards. We get clarity. We ask questions. All the experts are in the room. At first it was overwhelming, but being able to be a part of a team um, has really helped me in my journey. When you walk into our classroom, our focus is on our learning intention and our success criteria. So at all times, teachers have planned out what their learning intention is for the day, what our goal is for learning. And what's really essential is that students are able to articulate that as well. That it's very visible, students know what they're learning, Visible learning is when you have a success criteria and and um, and you follow the success criteria. When you go through it, you have to read it first and see what it says. Then when you do something in there, you check it off with a marker or a pencil. They can look at their learning intention and their success criteria and say, did I do that? Yes, I did do that. Or they can turn to their partners who has the same learning intention and success criteria right before them. And their partners can give them feedback and say, I love the way you did this success criteria. Visible learning is nothing short of transformative. We can truly say that we have created a culture of high achievement. And we are so proud to be the first visible learning certified school in Virginia.